Scarborough trashes Haley's tough speech to UN, but gets he pushed Bill to leave UN. Mainstream media has been falling, failing at quite a lot lately, but MSNBC just showed that they're still great at one thing, hypocrisy. On Friday, Joe Scarborough, the often sanctimonious host of the left-leaning morning show, bashed the Trump administration for its response to the United Nations this week. Both President Donald Trump and UN Ambassador Haley and Nikki Haley warned the UN that the United States might reconsider how much money it sends to other countries after the UN's General Assembly criticized the U.S. for moving its own embassy in Israel to Jerusalem. Scarborough held nothing back in his rant against the administration for threatening to reduce international funding and even called Haley an embarrassment. Shockingly, he, he ignored the fact that he himself had once proposed completely pulling out of the United Nations. Yes, you read that right. When Scarborough was a congressman back in 1995, he sponsored the United Nations Withdrawal Act. The bill that the MSNBC host and former congressman introduced in Congress would have stopped all U.S. funding of the United Nations over a four-year period and, and literally shut down all American involvement in the U.N. It terminated all American contributions to U.N. peacekeeping operations after four years, including any fund supporting American personnel involved in peacekeeping missions reported breakout news. Moreover, the bill proposed that the U.S. kick the United Nations out of its current headquarters in New York City. To reiterate, Scarborough formally proposed cutting off all American funding to the peacekeeping organization and telling the U.S. to take its headquarters somewhere else. Yet Scarborough and his co-host turned fiancé Mika Brzezinski had the audacity to attack Haley and Trump for merely hinting that we should take a hard look at how much we spend to fund the exact same organization. If you're an American, you just don't want your representatives up there threatening the, threatening the rest of the world, a tone-deaf MSNBC host, left here on Friday. We're going to need them on Iran. We're going to need their help on North Korea. We may need their help again in Florida. We are going to need their help in a thousand places to continue. And guess what? We are not going to work together if Nikki Haley is going up there humiliating the United States of America by threatening our allies over a non-binding resolution. Hey, Joe! Joe! You literally proposed a law that would kick the United Nations out of America. Did you think nobody remembered? This is a perfect example of why the public does not trust the mainstream media and why Americans are tired of smug blowhards like Scarborough. Trump's harshest critics are absolutely delusional in their attacks on the president and his team, and will not let anything, even their own records, get in the way of the anti-Trump narrative. Nothing matters to them as long as Trump is attacked. Not facts, not context, not reality, and not both laws that they attach their name to as representatives of Congress. Americans are tired of this hypocrisy, and that's one of the core reasons that Trump won a year ago. 